Hi everyone, head coach Peter Fuller here from Chattanooga Football Club. You're getting ready to watch with me, Chattanooga Football Club versus the New York Cosmos. Let's get right into it. Kind of leading up to this, uh, Chattanooga FC has played some uh, very historic, I get, is it very historic? It'd just be historic, I guess. I don't think you can get more historic than historic. But uh, um, play some historic games against, uh, against the Cosmos, obviously dating back to the national final uh, where we put uh, 18,700 people in the, in the stands for that. And that kind of got it Chattanooga rolling. Uh, CFC so this is the uh, latest iteration of uh, of this rivalry um, at our place um, I believe we played this game if I'm not mistaken I think it was September 16th maybe that we played um, and uh, they uh, they they definitely caused us caused us some problems. They're a very very good team and an experienced team, veteran team, um, and uh, we came into it um, obviously coming off a, a win versus Detroit City um, and a cancellation of a game during some of the social. Uh, justice things that were going on in our country uh, New Amsterdam um, decided not to not to come in um, and so we we ended up uh, um, we ended up having to cancel that game so we hadn't played for close to a month at this point um, and I thought we looked it in the first half so they've already just while I'm sitting here talking they've had three great chances to score goals so and then we end up uh, here with uh, Senors Dixon and uh, Reddington uh, with a little bit of a mix-up and they end up scoring a goal to make it one nothing in the 37th minute of the game. So uh, uh, at this point we needed to, to regroup. So, um, but uh, uh, we begin to, to start to start getting at him here a little bit. So looking to take advantage of Lewis, able to drive it in across the net, nobody there. Very good run and cross by Ryan Marcano right there. And now we get a little bit of the ball here. So interesting. Need more time in your business? Contact HHM for all of your accounting needs. Marcano squared it across. Was Cella scuffs it right side to Guarnera. Now we're into the second half. Ladula beating Russell. Yikes. Along the goal line. Ladula touching it towards the six. Back up against goal. Hassan turns and fires into the side netting. I remember thinking at this point right here, we had just come out of halftime. And uh for Isaac Acuna. And we made a couple of changes in terms of I think maybe a personnel change or two at this point, but we made a formation change and we talked about how we needed to just be harder and tougher to play against a little bit in the second half and we came out in the second half and we were anything but we were terrible so for us for this particular group the thing for me that i judge whether we're good or bad it has less to do with some of the technical and tactical stuff it has far more to do with are we winning challenges are we winning headers are we um are we first two things um obviously here's the penalty uh darwin scored it to to make it one one and uh um and, but it's interesting because if we would have looked at the next the 10 minutes prior to this the game was starting to change at this point Remember that, and again, you got to take everything in context. They had played on the Wednesday, um, a game at home, turned around on Thursday, got on a bus, drove, what, to Virginia, stayed overnight, got up the next day, and finished the trip on Friday to Chattanooga. They got a lot of older guys. That's, a, that's about 13, 14 hours on the bus. And they started, I thought the last 20 minutes of the game, it was like they hit a wall a little bit. And I thought we started to really get, and what a goal this is. 
absolute wonder strike from from Clay and uh, um, absolutely magnificent. And uh, it's interesting. I don't know where Clay Adams' career goes or or what he does beyond this, but I I will tell you um, that might have been. I think in the Chattahooligans would be in some of the older ones, you know, that have been with this for forever. Breezy, um, uh, you know, Coniglio, the different ones that have been here for a long, long time. I'd love to know where they feel like that goal ranks in terms of uh, the history of the club. Because um, obviously it's against our old nemesis, the Cosmos, um, but it was uh, an absolute wonder strike. And uh, um, so I, 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 I got to believe it's right up there in terms of, in terms of importance in the club's history. Interesting, the, the thing, the thing, remember the last thing that I told him before he went out, we, we, we went through his assignments for set pieces and where he was supposed to go and what he was supposed to do. And then I just said to him, I said, um, I said, do me a favor. If you get a chance to shoot, shoot. That's what you're good at. And he was like, yeah, absolutely. And he did. And he did. And, and, uh, um, and like I said, it'll go down in history as one of the bigger goals, if not the biggest goal in the, in the club's history. So phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next time.